Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a book review. So let me delve you into the world of Diary of the Wimpy Kid. I have got into reading these recently and I really enjoy them so I decided to share them with you today. These are illustrated and written by Jeff Kinney. So let me show you the first book I have read. This one is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the original first one. And I'm just going to show you a quick look inside. This book is the first book in the series of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And the book name is actually Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Written and illustrated by Jeff Kinney. So let me tell you a brief summary of this book. The, the wimpy kid is this person who is Greg Hefley. And this book is about his time at middle school. This is based in America. His friend, Rolly, and his family. His brothers, Roderick and Manny and his mum and dad. So this book is about Greg doing his everyday life with his friend Rolly and his brothers being annoying to him, Manny and Roderick, his very annoying brothers. What enticed me to get the diary of a wimpy kid is because First, I saw it in the library at my school and all my classmates were really enjoying it, were the ones who read it. And so I thought, read it. And then I got really, so I read it at school and I got really enticed to reading the rest. So I asked my parents to get me this book. So I reread it and got some of the other books in the series. After I read this book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I moved on to the next book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. So let me show you the second book I read. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. This is Roderick, this is Greg. Roderick's very annoying, but recently in this book, he's been really, really annoying. I'd say 10 times more annoying to Greg than he usually is. Let me have a quick flip through this book to show you. So the reason I decided to read the second book is because in the first book it left it on a really big cliffhanger. So I just really wanted to know what happened next. So the outline of this story is that Roderick's being super, super annoying. Way more annoying than he usually is and he's very annoying. And he's getting in all Gregory's private stuff. And he kind of tried to steal his last diary. So he tried, so Greg has to keep this diary locked up. So this story is about Roderick finding Greg's first diary, which is the original diary of the wimpy kid. So Gregory has to keep this diary super secure so Roderick doesn't get it into his hands. So this book I read three times before moving on to the next one because I really just wanted to really understand it and it was really funny and the illustrations are superb. The difference between this book and Roderick Rules, this book is way funnier because Roderick locks Gregory into the hallway of a hotel from their hotel room and Gregory's only in his underwear and he has to hide behind the, 
one of those machines where you insert the coins. So, I wanted to read the rest of this series because I thought the next books might be even funnier. Jeff Kinney really draws you into doing this with his superb illustrations and his funny novels. Once I finished reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Draw, it was really funny. I moved on to the next book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. So, once I finished Last Draw, I read this book and it's really funny of a number of things. One, Roderick put the dirty sock in Gregory's mouth and two gregory and roly watch a horror movie and then manny who's like five years old one of his toys so i once i finished diary of the wimpy kid dog days i moved on to diary of the wimpy kid the ugly truth i wanted to read this and i really wanted to know what happened next And some really funny things in it, like Gregory goes through a sewer to avoid somebody who he really doesn't like, called Fredly. So the reason I think people should read this one is because it's a really good one and it has some funny bits as well. Like Gregory goes through the sewer. And it's really funny. And he also breaks up with Rolly as a friend and then they become friends again. Once I read this one, I got really enticed to read the last one, and which was Cabin Fever. All of the books I'm reviewing today have came in a series. Well, if I do other book reviews today, not including those, just the Diary of the Wimpy Kid ones. The last one is Cabin Fever. There's three more that I don't have, which are Bird Wheel, Do It Yourself Book, and Movie Diary. So what enticed me to read this book is the front cover. And this book is where there's loads of plots and money, who is this one, the littlest one, decides to turn all the heating off in the house except for his own room and be really greedy. And they're also stuck in the house with nothing to do because there is a humongous blizzard. These are the six books that have come in a set together. I really recommend that you buy these books or borrow them from your local library. I still have three more books that I don't have, which are The Third Wheel, Movie Diary, and Do It Yourself book. These are for nine and above, because there are some topics, like for if you're below that age, that you wouldn't really get. So I really recommend that you buy these, because the illustrations and the words just go really well together. And they're a really good series. So what, next time you go to the shop or go to a book retailer, don't forget to look out for these books. And also the illustrator is Jeff Kinney. So this was my review today of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid series by Jeff Kinney and also illustrated by Jeff Kinney. So that was my review today. If you would like me to read any books that are nine and above, and review them on my channel please put a comment down below and give me your ideas because i really like some new ideas for some books so if you like this video please like subscribe and hit that notifications bell and share your friends and family bye everybody